What's up guys? Welcome to Left Foot First. I'm Curtis. This episode we're working on the left foot low cost. So this episode we're going to go through the motor. I'll show you the motor that I got. Uh, I already picked it up a while ago. And we'll dig into the internals on it, show you what it looks like inside. And hopefully we'll have some, uh, some new parts to put in it. Get it all reassembled and then we can put that off to the side and get started on the rest of the car. So, let's get started. All right, there's the motor that we got. It's a Nissan SR20 DET, two liter, four cylinder, turbocharged. Uh, I got it from a guy out in Quebec who shipped it in from Japan, so. We ripped the head off of it to make sure everything looked good inside, make sure that there was no parts missing or anything was wrong. Uh, it all looks pretty good actually, all the valves look pretty good. There's one hot spot, just on this valve here there's a bit of a hot spot, but nothing to concern ourselves with I think. Uh, the head's all flat, so that's good, it's not warped or anything. Same thing with the block, this is all flat, checked all that with a straight edge. Uh, cylinders look good, pistons look good, there's a couple of little detonation marks but nothing serious. Uh, these were all black and full of carbon, I cleaned all these up so it's not what they looked like originally. It wasn't that clean. There's some very slight discoloration on the inside of the cylinders. You can see it in that shot there. But nothing that we're going to worry ourselves about. So. We're going to throw some parts at it, button her all up, and get her ready to go. So most of what we got is just maintenance stuff, right? Like oil filter, we're gonna have to do an oil change on this thing as soon as we get it running. Um, we got straight from Nissan, we got the full rebuild seal kit for the motor. So we got things like the valve cover gaskets and the, the intake manifold gaskets and the turbo gaskets, oil gaskets. All that little stuff that gets ruined when you take a motor apart. Just, uh, just uh, when we go we'll put it back together, we might as well put new seals in it. They also include a stock head gasket they're not going to use. Uh, I've heard good things about these ones, but we're going to go, we're going to upgrade just a little bit. So, this is our new head gasket from Tomei. It's a multi layer steel, stock thickness, stock bore. Uh, it should just hold up to higher cylinder pressures better. To accompany that, we got, oh Jesus, we got ARP head studs. Uh, these are a must anytime you're rebuilding an engine is what I've heard. Some people might argue with me, but whatever. It's cheap insurance, right? Uh, they shouldn't be a big deal because we're going pretty well stock configuration on the motor, but if we ever do want to push it, it'll be nice to have. And then the other issue that I've heard, or the other thing that I've heard is an issue with these motors is the rocker arms uh, start to float at high RPM. So we got some ISR performance rocker arm stoppers. And uh, yeah, that should be about it. That's all, that should be all that we need to put this thing back together again and at least button the, the head back on. So start putting those in.
I'm gonna put on my oil pan before I start dealing with the cams. But before I put the oil pan on, I wanna show you the first big mystery of this motor. The bottom girdle it says, Kangaroo Hashtag 3B. If anybody know, knows what Kangaroo Hashtag 3B stands for, leave me a comment, because I am super curious. Good, so 
that's a relief. We don't have to replace anything, anything major. So it's all ready to start building the car around. So in the next episode on this channel, we're actually going to take a quick break from the low cost and we're going to work on the dirt bikes for an episode, get them ready to put away for the winter so that we got a little bit more room. And then we'll jump back onto the low cost and get started on a build table. So we can start building the chassis. So I'll see you guys next time.